Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be trying out some products from a place called Warpaint Makeup for Men. They're specifically designed for men, so I'm a man and I thought I'd try it for you. You're welcome. The company don't really have a lot of products right now, just a concealer, a foundation, a lip balm, a brush, and I think they do a bronzer as well. I'm not 100% sure, but they're all pretty cheap. And as you can see, it's, um pretty good. I'm using basically all of them except for the bronzer on my face right now just because I don't have it but yeah um, I'm impressed let's just start with that and as you can see how all the products work when I try them and then view. But yeah let's jump into it. So I've already moisturized put on some serum I got from Korea and then a little bit of under eye cream. The next step is just to put on some primer so let's go ahead and do that. The primer I'm using today is Infallible Mattifying Base by L'Oreal. Um, I actually stole this off my sister. And um, we're just gonna apply that to whatever parts of my face get kind of oily, 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 um, which is normally like around my nose, a bit here maybe, and then some up here, obviously. First product I was sent which is the concealer and I'm just gonna apply this to any places I get some like redness or blemishes and then under my eyes oh it's really thick I don't think I'm gonna have to use a lot of this because it is so thick whoa but yeah, I think that's more than enough. The company also sent this little sponge here to blend it out with. It's pretty small, so maybe it'll be good for under the eyes. But yeah, let's go ahead and blend that out. As you can see, it's pretty good coverage. Gives your face like that highlighted effect. And yeah, I really like it actually. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. I am, it's in this little tub. It actually, it looks a little too dark for me, but we'll try it on the skin and see what it looks like. It smells really good as well. It smells like men's aftershave, which is really nice. They also have this cool little brush that I'm gonna be um, blending out with. I've tried one of these before and it actually wasn't too good, so I'm hoping this will be a little different. This brush is really soft as well, so I think it actually might work. We'll try. That's it blended out. It's looking a little bit shiny right now. I, um, I normally like a little bit more of a matte texture just because it looks more natural, but you know, it's not that bad if you actually um, like the kind of dewy look. So I'm just gonna try and get rid of the shine with the sponge and see if I like it anymore. It's looking a lot better after just going over it with a sponge. Um, I could probably actually wear this out now and yeah, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup, but I hope. What do you guys think? I really like it actually. It's got a lot of coverage. Um, once the shine goes away, it looks really nice. Um, I kind of just look really healthy, which is weird. And for those of you asking why I just wouldn't use a powder to get rid of the shine, I think having a foundation with a powder on top and like concealer underneath is just a little too thick for the kind of natural look I like to go to for. So 
yeah, that's why I don't use powders. But the foundation on its own looks pretty good. The coverage is really, really good. And the last thing I have from Warpaint is a lip balm, which is kind of random, but you know, I'm addicted to lip balms and it works just as well as like the most popular brand. So yeah, I really like it. You can never put on lip balm sexy. Okay, so this is the finished look using all of the products. I am really impressed with the foundation actually. I didn't think I would like it this much. I normally don't wear foundation, but this is pretty good actually. Um, the coverage is great. I wasn't a fan of the shine at the start, but I think it looks kind of like, I don't know, glowy now. I look really healthy and like kind of tan, which is nice because I'm always super pale. Um, yeah, the lip balm is awesome too. It's just, it's like, really soft, it has no smell, it's it's nice. And the only thing I wasn't too impressed with was the brush. I just think it's easier to do it with a sponge. The brush is probably really good, but you know, it's so much faster to do it with a sponge, so that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. And the concealer's awesome too. It's like, you get so much product for the price. I think they're all around like 13 pounds or something. Um, but yeah, I'll leave their website in the description box below. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe for more. Um, you can also comment, leaving a suggestion for what my next video should be. And yeah, that's everything. So thank you so much. See y'all later.